Well, well, thank you, Michael, Joy, and fellow Toastmasters. Well, I would say guests, there's no guests here today. <laughs> um, today, my icebreaker speech is about family times and how precious family time is to spend time together. Because I guess when they get older, you wish you spent more time with your kids. Together. They or they don't stay home as much and they move on. All right, I don't know, I'm worried. Uh, about six years ago, as a family, uh, we went to Getty's yeah. drive-in movie theaters, one of the very few left here in Michigan. And the Skigan drive-in, it's they have four screens, but also it's like digital uh, four screens. I mean, you can listen on your um, radio in your car. They still have the old uh, fashioned things you put on your windows and stuff, the old drive-in. They don't really use it anymore. They're still there, but you, you pretty much turn on a certain station and tell you the FM radio, and hope and pray your car battery is good. If not, there's people <laughs> jump your car before you leave. <laughs> but um, they also, what we did before you went to the drive-in is we went to like the local Target or Dollar Tree, and we got a bunch of goodies and stuff, snacks, and then we met. Well, I think he's co-worker who worked at the cob plant, Bob. They call him Uncle Bob up there because he was like a welder up there at the cob plant. And he said, hey, let's go to the drive-in. And he stopped somewhere, grabbed a pizza, and we had some pop, had a cooler, put some ice in it. And a bunch of other people did the same thing. They basically grabbed some goodies and pizza. And it saves a ton of money versus buying at a concession stand, even though they want to spend the extra bucks at the concession. That's where they make the money. I mean, plus it's pretty cool. It's cheaper going drive-in than the action movie theater because you get two prices for the one. And, and you can actually, after you get done watching the first movie you didn't like, you can actually move your car, go to the next screen because it goes till like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then we did it like on a Saturday and then we, at the time we were living in Grand Rapids there in Wyoming. So it took 45 minutes to get, go from Muskegon back to Wyoming. But then we, we basically slept in the next day since we didn't have to go to work, just <laughs> exhausted. Um, next thing, it's a great time we had family, was going to Cedar Point. And I had, that was two years ago, I got two free tickets to go Cedar Point or Michigan Adventure. We said, let's go Cedar Point. So we only had to buy two more. All of a sudden, quit and go. He had to work, or his girlfriend had to work with him, so he had to stay home. So we, four of us went, and we had a good time until, you know, a couple thunderstorms were stopped, or all the rides shut down, and, and then basically we tried again, and we stayed probably about 7 o'clock. Then on the way home, we stopped at Red Robin, had some dinner, and then, and then that was. Nice long day, but we, we were hoping to stay longer, but kept the plan. I had two free tickets and only had paid half the, the cost there. But of course, I didn't watch Road Coaster. Years ago, I used to like Road Coaster. get older, you know, <laughs> kids loved it. But then the next family thing together, as we did, is uh, we lived in Grand Rapids. Our favorite restaurant was Russ's. A nice, good home family cooking. And they got to know us because we, I didn't go every Thursday because I worked second like shift. My wife picked the kids up from school. Every Thursday she went to this one, Russell's in Granville. She went there so much they knew her almost by name, but actually knew what type of food they wanted every week. They wanted chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes and gravy. Every week they got that same. Of course, I was out of all I had like hamburger and fries, whatnot. They always got the same thing. Plus there you got cappuccino. Mm -hmm. And the cappuccino there, they'll give you like if you want whipped cream comes out of the can, you'll know, whipped cream you'll give a little uh, I can't think of the name of the company that comes out of the can, but they give you that, no extra cost. And they give you refills. You go to other restaurants, they charge you so much extra for a cappuccino or hot, hot chocolate. They they charge you an extra couple dollar for that place. Good home cooking. It's in Grand Rapids area, Holland, 
And then in Holland, they actually make the fresh pies. They have like a little place they make it when they ship to all their restaurants. And the conclusion of this my speech today is spending time with the family is so precious and priceless to me. And you never get the time back when they're little and basically enjoy every time you can. And thank you much for your time. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, you're welcome.